Hello and welcome here. In today's video, I'll tell you more about how to use the iPad to stop yourself from procrastinating your daily goals. Surely the iPad won't pressure you into doing anything, but it can help you find a way for yourself to get your stuff done. This is what I wanted to find myself and here is how it went. The way is very simple and I will tell you in a second why I prefer it on iPad. So let me show you how it's done. So the first thing you see on my iPad when you first open it is this widget and I will tell you how to put it in just a second. I use this widget to actually write my project in a letter form so that I can always keep track of what stage I am in right now. Now let me tell you how to add this uh, widget for yourself. You can just hold on to your screen and from here you just press on the plus button on the top left corner of your iPad and from here you can just search for notes application on the left side. I missed it the first time but here it is. Now you can just uh, search for it you have you'll have the last two ones from here i prefer this smaller one on iphone but i use the larger one on ipad i don't need two of them right now so i'll just delete the last one that i've just added now let me show you how to write your project in a ladder form or in this form so that you can always keep track of what stage you are on and how much you have left for your project now let me also tell you uh, what application I'm using. I'm using Notes application which is Apple's default Notes application. You don't need any fancy applications and it's free. And this widget is also free so that's also a plus. Now in order to have your note appear on the home screen like that, you'll need to write your notes in a quick notes form. You can just press on this uh, left button here and you can go to the quick notes folder. And now the last notes that you edit will always appear on the home screen. So now when I open a new notes and I write in it anything, this is the notes that will have appear on my home screen. It will just appear in a second. It might take a couple of seconds to appear. Now let me show you how I write it. I like to break it down into smaller steps so that I can always keep track of the progress that I am doing right now. Let me adjust the camera like that. So this is uh, in work, I'm not studying and I want it for a YouTube video, but I like to uh, change the color to the blue one real quick. And I use the red color to track my progress and to scratch on these steps that I have already done. So I like to put work right here. Then the projects that I want to work on for today will be the YouTube project. So I am making a YouTube video. Now I will just break down the steps of making a YouTube video into smaller steps so that I can keep track of them. And I will show you how you can do that for studying in just a minute. So YouTube project, I need to find a topic. After finding a topic, I need to find a title. And after finding a title, I need to find the key points of the video. And after finding the key points, I need to set up my gear and my desk. Then I can just record my video. And after recording it, I can edit it. and then I can upload it. Now I also like to number them in the black color so that I can keep track of what stage I am on right now without having to scroll back and see what I have done and what I have left. So this uh, seems to be eight steps. Now, when I start the project, I like to scratch it so that I know that I've already started and I am in, uh, in it right now. And whenever or after each uh, topic or after each stage I finish, I like to scratch it. And just like that, when you close your application, you'll find it appear on the home screen. What, now, why I like it on iPad is because it always appears on the home screen. I like to work on my iPad, so I want to keep track of what I am doing. So let's say I open Safari, and whenever I close it, I can just keep track of what stage I'm on, and I can just open it real quick and scratch the uh, topics that I've done. This is also great for studying, and let me show you how to do it for studying. 
and here is how I use it to keep track of my studying I'll just write study here at first then I will write the topic or the uh, subject that I am studying I will study microbiology then I will circle it after that I will uh, write the task that I want to do I want to watch the lecture of protozoal infections so I'll just write that real quick protozoal infections lecture A or part A then after that I need to finish part B of the lecture then after watching these two lectures I need to also uh, get uh, done with the slides or modified sheets of it so modified sheets and after finishing with that I need to solve questions so that I make sure that I understand the topic real good. Then I can also number them just like I've done before and this works out really great. And just like before it will always appear in my home screen. Because we've wrote less steps than before, it appears all in this uh, square and we don't have anything cut out. What I've just told you about can be done on paper, but I prefer it on iPad for multiple of reasons. First, you will not lose your iPad, or I hope not at least. I find that when you write anything on paper on a separate paper than not on a notebook or anything, you will lose it real quick. And if you lose the paper on a multiple of days project or a, or a weekly project, you might lose your progress or you might lose your motive to work on this project. And this is what I like about the iPad. You can always have this project saved on your iPad or your progress at least. Not only that, you can open it from your phone as it is synced on iCloud. And also you can open it on your iMac or your computer as well. And you can edit it from these devices as well. That is one, one aspect I really like about writing the steps on iPad rather than on paper. But what I also like about the iPad is the ability to have this widget on the home screen. So that even if I actually open another application or a game, let's say on iPad, the second I close it, I can just keep track or I can just remember that I have a project that I'm working on that I need to finish. And I am working on it and I can just get back to it real quick and have the a motive or just like an alarm or remember the project that I'm working on. So this was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've made multiple of videos on iPads on multiple of different topics that you might enjoy watching. Make sure to see what else I have. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.